sit out here today. I am so excited to see you all today after such a nice weekend. I hope that you all had... Alright, it looks like it just started over. That happened last week too. The connection was gone for a second. So I don't know if it's going to play the beginning or not. Um, but just, I'll start again. Hi, good morning. Happy Monday. It's a beautiful, beautiful Monday. A um, little bit, little bit um, rainy this morning, but I think it's clearing up now. So I was able to get outside. My porch was dry enough. I could put a towel down and sit out here. So hopefully you can all get outside too. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, everybody. All right, I hope you all had such a great weekend. Um, we had a great week last week, starting our uh, unit on trees and continuing to talk about spring and insects. We're gonna continue that this week. Um, we also really, really loved and appreciated our the video and the pictures that you all sent. And Miss Melissa put it in a really nice um, slideshow for us. And it was so beautiful. It definitely made a lot of us cry. And we just miss all your little ones so much. So thank you for sending that. And, oh, who is that? I just missed that. Good morning. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kira. Good morning, Miss Linda and Vivi and Vincenzo. Thanks for joining. And I hope that you all had a great Mother's Day. It was a beautiful day outside. So I hope that you got to enjoy the day. I hope that you all got spoiled for all of the people in who everyone takes care of a child at some point. <laughs> so we're so grateful for you. Hi, Gracie. Oh, that would be cool. Come on by. <laughs> Gracie and AJ live right across the street from me. If it wasn't for the trees, they'd be able to see me right now. Good morning, Baron. Hi, Allison. Hi, Nora and Nolan. Okay, so good morning. Hi, everybody. All right, we're gonna start off by singing good morning to all of our friends. I know Miss Tracy was singing our good morning song on Friday during her magical moment. I love that she was using our song too. So we're gonna sing good morning. I'm gonna sing to all of you. Okay, get ready, get your hands ready. Get, I hope you're sitting on your bottoms. Put your hands on your knees, on your knees if you please. Put your hands on your knees if you wanna turn, please. Put your hands on your knees, on your knees if you please. And say my turn, please. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, my friends. Good morning to my friends. Good morning to your families. Good morning to my friends. Good morning to my families. So let's see who we have on here today. Let's see, I'm gonna scroll up for a minute. So we'll say good morning, good morning. Good morning, my friends. Good morning to Viviana. Good morning to Vincenzo. Good morning to Ariana. Good morning to Emilio. Uh-oh, what did I do there? Good, let me keep going. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, my friends. Good morning to Gracie. Good morning to AJ. Good morning to Kira. Good morning, oh, good morning to Nora. Good morning to Nolan. Good morning to Baron. How are you today? We have more friends that joined us. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, my friends. Good morning to Patrick. Good morning to Alex. Good morning to Davily. Good morning to Jimmy. Good morning to Charlie. Good morning to Lucas. How are you today? Hi, everybody. Good morning. Hi, Charlie and Lucas. Thanks so much for joining this morning. I miss you guys so much. All right, well, it's a beautiful, it's, it's hopefully going to be a, a nice day today, maybe a little bit cloudy, but the weather has cleared up enough for me to be outside a little bit, but we had a, such a nice weekend. Got to spend a lot of time outside yesterday. It was perfect. And we went on a hike. Um, we went on, I guess it's on the corner of Moss Mill and... The road that Smithville School's on, I don't know, oh, Old Port Road, <laughs> I was blanking there. And we went for a hike there in the woods yesterday and we were looking at a lot of the different trees. And I know that you're talking about trees this week. So Tommy was collecting some things for an art collage she's going to make today. 
um, and I wanted to show them to you. So does anyone know what tree this came from? Normally I see these little propeller guys and they are a different color. They're all green, but these have some pink in them. Does anyone know what tree this is from? This is from a maple tree, a maple tree. And there's seeds and leaves on here for other maple trees. I thought this was really pretty. Cause I hadn't, I honestly, I don't think I've seen a pink one before. Maybe I just don't remember. Um, we also got this. We have a lot of these trees in our backyard too. Does anyone know what tree this is from? What kind of needles these are? These are pine needles from a pine tree. This is from a pine tree. And we also have this leaf. Now this leaf has some pointy, pointy corners or edges. And this is a holly leaf. That's right, Alex, a pine tree. That was from a pine tree. Yep. This is a holly leaf from a holly tree. And then Tommy also wanted me to show you this. This is actually from, I don't know if anybody really knows what this is. I could have looked it up. This is from um, Cancun that we got this year in February because we got to get, we got to go on vacation this year. And um, he got this from the bottom of a palm tree. So we're not sure if it's a coconut that didn't grow correctly um, or if it's a seed, but we, um, Tommy said it looks like a banana, so he calls it a banana nut. But this came from a palm tree from Mexico this year. So those are just some of the things that we collected yesterday on our hike, on our walk. I hope that all of you are getting out. Good morning, Miss Megan. I know you are uh, getting out and seeing nature and being able to collect some things and bring them home and find out where they come from. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, just to see what's out there. There was also a lot of turtles and there were some frogs and lots of birds. So it was a really great walk. Um, so speaking of bugs and being outside, I've also noticed if you look sometimes at the trees during the day, there'll be a thin little web coming down with these tiny little caterpillars. And there might also be some bigger caterpillars that are in your trees that are starting to make their what? Does anyone know? Their cocoons. They're gonna to start to make their cocoons so that they can turn into something absolutely beautiful that we're gonna see flying around very soon. So I thought today we could read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. I love this book. And this book actually, oops, there it goes the CD. I have a CD for this book. Um, where actually Eric Carl reads it, but I'm not gonna bring I didn't bring out a DVD player today or a CD player So I'm just going to read it myself In the light of the moon a little egg lay on a leaf See that there? That's the little egg. I wonder what's gonna come out of it One Sunday morning the warm Sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Oh, he is really hungry. I hope you can count with me for this. On Monday, he ate one apple, but he was still hungry. Oh, hold on, flip this way, okay. On Tuesday, he ate through, let's count them, one, two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, one, two, three, but he was still hungry. Oh, what are these? What are these? On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, 
one, sal one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh boy. The next day was Sunday again. He ate through one, oh sorry, the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. His belly didn't hurt him anymore. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't little anymore either. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. That's one of my favorite books, and I love when Eric Carl reads it because you could hear his accent a little. So I hope that you enjoyed that book. I know that Miss Alexa used that book to do a yoga um, story the other day, but she didn't get to read it. Okay, sorry, put the CD back. All right, and then, just like Miss Melissa living on a farm, and lots of other people who live on farms, and we were talking last week about all the bugs coming out, um, the animals having babies, and the farms are getting up and running. And this is one of our favorite uh, books on CD. They're all our favorites, but this is one that we like a lot too. And it's called A Farmer's Life for Me. Who remembers this book from school? Nolan, you know this book? Hi, Gracie. <laughs> all right, are we ready? I'm gonna sing it to you, ready? Up jumped the farmers and set up on their way. Up jumped the children, ready for the day. Off they go together, and this is what they say. One, two, three, it's a farmer's life for me. I know, I see. Olivia sees Gracie. <laughs> it's time for the milking. The cow's named Annabelle. Careful, she'll kick you and spill the milk as well. How many buckets are there, can you tell? One, two, three, it's a farmer's life for me. We go up to the hen house, running all the way. How many warm eggs will we find today? Pick them up carefully and put them in the tray. One, two, three, it's a farmer's life for me. What? You can go now, put your shoes on. Out in the orchard, there blows a summer breeze. Fat red cherries are ripening on the trees. Would you like to eat some? Yes, please. One, two, three, it's a farmer's life for me. We're down at the pigsty, peeping through the door at one mother pig and her family of four. Can you see the piglets drinking more and more? One, two, three, it's a farmer's life for me. Look at those piglets drinking there. Over in the meadow, the farmer mows the hay. Soon it will be dry on this lovely sunny day. Rake it and turn it, the baler's on its way. One, two, three, it's a farmer's life for me. Up on the hillside, we're counting lambs and sheep. Some lambs are lost, though we can hear them bleat. Rattle the bucket and give them all a treat. One, two, three, it's a farmer's life for me. Look at those little sheep. Down in the paddock, we check the water trough. The horses are thirsty, have they got enough? Turn on the ho hose pipe, whoosh, now turn it off. One, two, three, it's a farmer's life for me. Back in the farmhouse, it's time to make a cake. Let's get ready so we can start to bake. Leave it to cool, then slice it into eight. One, two, three, it's a farmer's life for me. Good morning. It's time to feed all the ponies and shut the paddock gate. Close up the hen house before it gets too late. The pigs are in the pigsty, the mower's in the shed. The work's done for the day. And now it's time for bed. Work's done for the day. And now it's time for bed. And they're all gonna go to bed. Because it is a busy, busy day on the farm. I'm gonna just turn around real quick so we can see Gracie. There's Gracie, she came to visit. Say hi to all your friends, Gracie. Hi.
Thank you for coming. She gets a live show. <laughs> So I hope that you all enjoyed that today. I hope that you get outside and get to enjoy the rest of the day. Um, we'll have another magical moment today at 11 o'clock. Don't forget, you can subscribe and watch our YouTube channel anytime if you don't get to watch us live or if you want to watch um, one, of our, um, episode, one of our magical moments again um, at a later date. And I hope to see you all again here next week. Um, tell all your kids how much we love them and miss them. Hi, Charlotte. Hi. And uh, I'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye.